Hi there. This is Teacher Dagny from Literacy Pittsburgh. How are you? I'm good, thanks. This video is for Teacher Nancy's morning class and my afternoon class. This video is for although. This video is about although. So let's start and let's talk about although. Let's talk about although spelling and sound. So look at although. Although spelling A L T H O U G H. But English is crazy. We say although. Although. So U G H. No sound. Although. And although makes long sentences. Although makes long sentences. Although sentences have two parts. Two parts. So a first part and a second part. And we use a comma. A comma between the two parts. Can you see the comma? The comma is yellow. Comma tells us two parts together in one sentence. Comma tells us rest and continue. And although is change. So meaning of although is change. Although is different. Although is change. Although is different. So remember Although sentences have two parts, right? although says first part is different from second part, there is change. Let's look at a sentence together. So, um, although I am tired, I am happy. So this sentence has two parts. First part, although I am tired. Second part, I am happy. And a comma in between two parts. And although is change, Although tells us part one, part two, different. So part one, although I am tired, tired. Part two, I am happy, happy. Tired and happy, different. This is change. Read with me. Although 
I am tired. I am happy. Nice. Let's look at another sentence. Although she likes pizza, she doesn't like sandwiches. So, although we have two parts. Part one, although she likes pizza. Part two, she doesn't like sandwiches. We have a comma in between. And we have change. We have different. Right? Part one, she likes pizza. Likes. Part two, she doesn't like sandwiches. Right? Like, doesn't like. This is different. This is change. So read with me. Although she likes pizza, she doesn't like sandwiches. Nice. Let's look at one more sentence. Although I am taking antibiotics, I still have an earache. We have two parts. First part, although I am taking antibiotics. Second part, I still have an earache. We have a comma in between, and we have change. We have different. So part one, I am taking antibiotics. I am taking medicine to be healthy. Part two, I still have an earache. I still feel sick. So part one, medicine, healthy. Part two, earache, sick. So this is different. This is a change between part one and part two. So read with me. Although I am taking antibiotics, I still have an earache. Nice work. So now, let's talk about although and word order. Although and word order. Remember, word order is making sentences. Word order is what is first? What is next? What is next? What is next to finish sentence? So let's look at our sentence again. Although I'm taking antibiotics, I still have an earache. And let's talk about our word order. What is first? Although. Although is the first word in the sentence. Good. What's next? Person 
or thin. In this sentence, person is I. Next is action. What's the action? Good. Am taking. I am taking. And after the action, more words. Here, antibiotics is more words. Okay, so first part of the sentence finished. What's next? Good, yeah, a comma. Always remember, finish first part, comma. We put a comma between the two parts. Let's look at the word order for the second part. So again, person or thing is first. We talk about a person here. I. I still have an earache. Good. What is the action? Have. And then more words. Here, an earache is more words. So this is word order for although sentences. First is although, next person or thing, next action, next more words, a comma, and then a person or thing, an action, and more words. Let's look at another sentence. Although Sarah exercises a lot, she doesn't eat healthy food. Although Sarah exercises a lot, she doesn't eat healthy food. So, two parts. What is part one? Although Sarah exercises a lot. What is part two? She doesn't eat healthy food. We have a comma in between. And we have change. Part one, Sarah exercises healthy. Part two, she doesn't eat healthy food, not healthy. Healthy, not healthy, different. Now, let's talk about the word order for this sentence. What is first? Although, good, although is usually first word in sentence. Next, person or thing. What is person? Sarah, good. Next is action. Exercises. And then more words. A lot. A lot is more words. Next, comma. None. Person or thing. She. 
action. It doesn't eat. And more words. Healthy food. Good. Let's look again. So, first, although. Next, person or thing. Next, action. Next, more words. Comma. Person or thing. Action. And more words. So, although Sarah exercises a lot, she doesn't eat healthy food. Let's look at another sentence. Although the mother's COVID-19 test result was negative, her son's test was positive. So, two parts. What is part one? Although the mother's COVID-19 test result was negative. What is part two? Her son's test was positive. Two parts. We have a comma in between. And we have change. Part one, test result is negative. Part two, test result is positive. This is different. So let's read again. Although the mother's COVID-19 test result was negative, her son's test was positive. Let's look at the word order for this sentence. So what's first? Although. Good. Next, person or thing? Although the mother's COVID-19 test result was negative. Does this tell about a person or a thing? This is a thing. The mother's COVID-19 test result. We talk about the test result. This is a thing. Next action was, and then more words, negative, comma, and then a person or thing. Do we talk about person or thing? Thing. Again, we talk about the test result or her son's test. Action was, and more words, positive. Let's look again. So although is first, the mother's COVID-19 test result thing. This is all thing. Action was, and more words, negative, comma, person or thing. Her son's test. This is all thing. Action was and more words. Positive. Good. So 
let's look at word order one more time. So word order for all those sentence. First word in sentence, although. Next, person or thing. Next, action. Next, more words. And a comma. This is part one of all those sentence. Word order for part two. Again, person or thing is first. Action is next. And then more words to finish sentence. Although, then person or thing, then action, then more words, comma, person or thing, action, and more words. This is how we make all those sentences. Good. So, nice work, everyone. We talked about all those sentences, and we talked about all those word order. Next, we will practice making all those sentences together. So, if you need a break, you can stop the video and come back. If you are ready, we will continue practicing. Ready? Okay. So let's practice finishing all those sentences. Let's see what you remember. We will match, match sentence beginnings and ends. We will put the parts together to finish all those sentences. So we will read the sentence ends, then we will read the sentence beginnings, match the beginnings and the ends to finish the sentence. Then, write the sentence. If you need time, you can stop the video to practice, to read, to write. Match the parts, write the sentence, and then we will check together. Are you ready? Let's go. So let's look at the beginnings and ends. I will read them to you. The ends are red. The ends are A, B, C, and D. So a, I have an appointment to get heart medication. B, she went to a party on Saturday. C, he didn't shake hands with the woman. And D, the doctor didn't give her medication. Let's look at the beginnings. So beginnings are blue. One, two, 
3 and 4. Number 1. Although the patient's blood pressure is a little high. 2. Although the doctor applied hand sanitizer. 3. Although my coworker called off on Friday because of chest pain. Number four, although I don't take prescription medication now. Okay. So think, match beginnings and ends, and write the sentence. So oh, we are making four sentences. I will read ends and beginnings one more time. So ends, I have an appointment to get heart medication. She went to a party on Saturday. He didn't shake hands with the woman. The doctor didn't give her medication. And beginnings. Although the patient's blood pressure is a little high. Two. Although the doctor applied hand sanitizer. Three. Although my coworker called off on Friday because of chest pain. And four although I don't take prescription medication now. So think, match, beginning and end, and write the sentence. If you need more time, stop the video, pause the video, and when you are ready, come back and we will check the sentences. So let's check. So number one, beginning one, although the patient's blood pressure is a little high, what end did you choose? Good. So, and the doctor didn't give her medication. So two parts, comma in the middle. Part one, although the patient's blood pressure is a little high. Part two, the doctor didn't give her medication. We have change. So, part one, blood pressure is a little high, a little sick. Part two, the doctor didn't give her medication. So, no medicine. A little sick, no medicine. This is different. So, although the patient's blood pressure is a little high, the doctor didn't give her medication. Nice. Let's check the next one. So number two. Although the doctor applied hand sanitizer. Ending. He didn't shake hands with the woman. Two parts. We have a comma in the middle, and we have change. So part one, although the doctor applied hand sanitizer, the doctor cleaned hands. Part two, he didn't shake hands with the woman. So clean hands, but don't touch. This is change. So number two, 
although the doctor applied hand sanitizer, he didn't shake hands with the woman. Let's look at number three. So, although my coworker called off on Friday because of chest pain, and then she went to a party on Saturday. So, two parts. We have a comma in the middle, and we have change. So part one. Although my coworker called off on Friday because of chest pain. She is sick. She does not feel good. Part two, she went to a party. She feels good. So, feels sick, feels healthy. This is different. So, although my coworker called off on Friday because of chest pain, she went to a party on Saturday. Let's look at the last sentence. Number four. Although I don't take prescription medication now, and I have an appointment to get heart medication. Two parts, comma, in between two parts, and change. So, part one, although I don't take prescription medication now, I don't take medicine now, today, maybe. Part two, I have an appointment to get heart medication. I will take medicine in the future. So now, no. Future, yes. This is change. So let's read. Although I don't take prescription medication now, I have an appointment to get heart medication. Okay. We are finished practicing although for today. So although this video is finished, we will continue practicing in class. I hope this video helps and you can practice matching and reading and writing all those sentences. Thank you for watching and for practicing with me. We will see you in class next time.